actually wanted to build on from last year. I was on the, uh, on the team last year, but I was six man, so it was good. How much do you embrace uh, in the conference call? You were talking about kind of expecting that and embracing that role that you have. How's that grown on you, and how have you matured maybe in that spot? I mean, I, I, it was pretty clear with me what my role was coming in. It's just something you, you got to embrace. Um, I, don't, I don't need to hear my name being called for the starting lineup. It's just it's nice to know my role and come off the bench, and, uh, and coaches should know what to expect. Well, I mean, I had two, I think, pretty good looks for me to hit two assists in the game of overtime, and uh, I did get him to go, and uh, it was a low point for me, but uh, that was only midway through our season, so I mean, we couldn't stop it going on. I just thought uh, coaches were good with me, but teammates are a little positive me on the board, and just got Shots. You've had a couple good games here right at the right time, going to tournament time. How important is that for you? And the team's coming around as well right at the right time. Yeah, I think, uh, like we said in uh, October, November, we're going to play our best basketball here in March. And uh, we're, uh, we're getting back to how we, how we know we're able to play, get, get our tempo up, uh, get, get all of our guys hitting shots and getting the ball inside. So. Seems like you've been able to uh, contribute a lot defensively, and doing different things outside of shooting this year. How have you grown in that respect this season? Yeah, just it's been my third year now with Coach Mack, and uh, I, I know what to expect in his system and what he expects out of me. And uh, you, you just got to know uh, what you're supposed to be doing out there at all times, and just, just make sure you're ready. Go to St. Louis, chance to go back to back. What what, uh, what does that mean for you? Yeah, there, there's nothing better than going to St. Louis. Uh, this is our time. Uh, we got the number one seed, so uh, we are ready to go down there and uh, defend our title. You've been down to that tournament. It definitely really means a lot with three games in three days. Uh, is that for you? Yeah, I think uh, I think all our all our guys on the bench are playing well right now. Uh, they, they're ready to step up in their roles and, and be ready to go when uh, either there's foul trouble or, or guys are getting tired. So, uh, three games in three days is a lot for uh, guys like us that have been playing a lot of minutes or certain guys in our team that have. So. Uh, it's it's tough in both aspects. You know, you, your, your body is really feeling it physically, but uh, mentally, you try not to get ahead of yourself. You just gotta kind of focus on one game at a time. And you, you gotta get that first win. You just get up to the second day. Five thousand fans are at the Scott Trade Center. How much does that feel like? Uh, it, it it basically will. Uh, we got a. Uh, 5,000 more than even close to the next team has, so uh, I'm sure we'll be out, uh, I'm sure they'll all be out ready and get us ready to go. After cutting down the Mets last year, it's obviously got to be a big motivating factor for you guys this week. How much does that help you, uh, maybe a little extra push to, to exactly. try and win that thing again? Yeah, there's, there's not a better feeling when you're flying back home Sunday night, you know, uh, you kind of got that, that Monday through Saturday, uh, you don't really got to worry about anything. Yeah, you, you, you got your automatic bid, so uh, there's not a better feeling, and I, I know our guys want to go that again. Is that the thought right now, that nothing's guaranteed? Yeah, like we, you can't have that mindset. You know, we're we're going we're to let it up to other people. Uh, we're going to go in there. We're going to try to get on a roll again. We win three in a row and take care of ourselves. Thoughts on Doug winning the Bell Player of the Year twice in a row now. Just how impressive that's been. Uh, they, that's impressive. Uh, especially these last two, three weeks, Doug's been unbelievable. It seems like every time he touches it, yeah, he, he's making plays for himself or he's making plays for his teammates. And, uh, he, and he deserves it. He was by far the most consistent, best, toughest, hardest matchup this whole year, and uh, I'm proud of him. I think he, he earned it. i got to ask you, would you like to be a starter, or do you enjoy coming off the ball? Um, I, I got mixed answers to that, but I think uh, with the guy who plays in front of me, he, he makes uh, me coming off the bench uh, a, a lot easier for me because they got to draw. Doug draws so much attention. He draws. Uh, he draws so much help that uh, he leaves. He leaves mismatches and we swing the ball around and get open shots for me and my teammates. Yeah, it was it was a big win for the seating. Um, we're going to get a little more rest time now um, with, with the game, and uh, it was just it, it's good going to the tournament on a roll and not a, not on a loss. Anything else?